Hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Kathy Fillion and this is Make It With Mod Podge. And today I've got six really fun, quick ideas to share on some beachy home decor that'll be really fun for spring and summer. So let's just dive right in. The first project that I want to show you is a quick tutorial on how you can apply napkins to terracotta pots. And I specifically chose this terracotta pot because it has that extra edge there. So I want to show you how you work around some of the more unique and cool shapes of the pots that are out on the market. I'm going to use Math Mod Podge uh, today for this project. That is our yellow labeled bottle. And I'm using matte for all of these beachy things because I don't really want the glossy look for this. If you wanted that glossy look, then go ahead and use the gloss formula. I'm going to be using these really great printed napkins. They have sort of a cool beachy vibe going on. And like I said, I'm using a terracotta pot. I went ahead and primed my terracotta pot with some full cart home decor chalk in Adirondack white. And that's just going to create a nice surface so that the colors of my napkin will show through once our napkin is down. If I had done my napkin work onto the terracotta pot, all of this white area would really look more brown and kind of a darker color. So you wanna go ahead and give it a little coat of your white paint first to get started. For this project today, we're going to be using with just the top ply of our napkin. So let's go ahead and peel our napkin apart. Some napkins are two ply, some are three ply. You only want that top printed ply. So we'll go ahead and separate that all separated there. I joke that this is the hardest part of the project is separating the napkin. <laughs> now I set these aside because these are really good to use for cleanup on projects. So to get started, we're going to, let's see, you know what, let me move some of those papers out of the way. And let's get a good surface for us here. I'm also going to be using a little bit of spray water and like I said, our matte formula. So let's get down our first bit just by applying our matte Mod Podge to our terracotta pot. And like I said a second ago, I did prime this terracotta pot with full cart home decor chalk. That just is a nice base to adhere the napkin to and it makes it so that all the pretty colors in the napkin still pop out. Go ahead and add that around. I'm only gonna work in small sections because sometimes working with a napkin, it's hard to go around a round surface if you've got a large napkin shape. So, oops, you know what I should have showed you really quickly? Because I'm gonna be seaming this up, this napkin has a border edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off that border so that I can match up that edge better. You can just discard those little border pieces there. There we go, get rid of those. And now let's go ahead and give our napkin a tiny mist of water. Just a little mist there, and that's gonna help with wrinkles. Now this is the one arm move here. Ready for this? We're going to just gently lift it up you see where all my wet Mod Podge is there? Here's the dry and there's the wet. So I'm gonna start trying to get it just on the side of that. You've got a little time to pick it up and move it. It's kind of just very gently. Pick it up and move it. You're trying to prevent wrinkles. So just kind of pick it up. I personally like a little bit of the wrinkles. To me, that's a little bit handmade and organic. Some people really don't like them. So if you don't like them, you can use a little cling wrap to help get those out. Let's go ahead and pick up one more time. I've got a little air bubble in there. There we go, and lay that flat. Also, when you have the wet napkin, it does, or I shouldn't say wet, very damp. It does allow you a little bit of time to move that around. Then I like to just go in and very gently with my finger kind of tap down. Just very, very, I'm barely putting any pressure. Okay, and see how we're going right over that edge that I told you about at the beginning? That's important. You wanna just go right over that edge. Let's go ahead and tap down a little bit and work our way around. Just kind of gently lift and 
place back down and then tap down. Okay, looking pretty good so far. So now at this point, you can go in, our napkin's still a little bit down, and let's add a little bit more of our Mod Podge under there, I'm trying to get the napkin. There we go, tap down. That's where our seam is gonna be. Now this type of project works best with napkins that have all over prints. So if you had a perfect stripe or something like that, you would probably have difficulty going around a curved edge, especially something that has a curved edge like that or any kind of grooves in it. So all over prints work best. And just gently, you know I'm gonna give that a little bit more of a mist. Go ahead gently tap down. Now I'm working pretty quickly here because I've got six things I wanna share with you today. So normally I'd go a little bit slower and take my time, but you can see how quickly you can get a, a napkin down just like that. Then you can just go in and let's trim away some of our excess. I like to leave a little overhang on the bottom. Okay, like that. And we'll go ahead and glue that bottom section down using the same matte formula. So you just go in and add a little bit and then you just fold it down just like so. And don't worry about here, once this first section is dry, I go in and I patch another piece right onto that. Okay, so go ahead and flatten some of that down. So this will be the back of our container and that's where our lines will meet up. Go ahead and add a little bit more on the inside. And just fold that edge over, just like so. Now when this is finished, I like to cut a felt circle and hot glue it to the bottom. It just kind of finishes off the design. Okay, so that is our first section down. Now at this point, I usually set it aside and let this part dry before I go on to piece it and flap it, but I do wanna show you quickly how you flap this edge over. And again, I normally do this once that's dry, but let's just go ahead and do it really quick for sake of time, because I do wanna show you that. So you just go in and you're gonna add your Mod Podge to the inside and a little bit along that lip, everywhere where you have the napkin overhanging on the top. And this is how you get that cool, nice finished edge at the top. Add a little bit. Then you're just gonna go in, and gently fold that over the edge. Looking good, guys, we're looking good. And I, honestly, it's just the lightest little taps possible. And then you can go in and just press that down with your brush, just very gently. You don't wanna rip your napkin. They do tear pretty easily, so you wanna keep a light hand this whole time. There we go. Now you can set this aside and let this dry. And when it's dry, you'll cut another piece and piece it right there. And when it's dry, it's going to look like this. Now this does not have a top coating on it. You can see I've got it all the way around the inside. I've got my bot, oh, this is a good example. So if I hadn't primed it, that's what the color would be like, which is cool too. It's just the look that you're going for. I wanted more of a beachy look, so I wanted that white color showing through. And this is where I seamed it up. So, you know, your seaming is going to show a line. So make sure that you're taking a look at what your vase or vessel looks like and what side is going to be the back side. Now to top coat this, it's very simple. I'm gonna use the same matte Mod Podge formula and you'll just go right over the napkin. This has been drying for about six hours, so I'm not worried about tearing the napkin. You don't need to re-wet it or anything like that. And you want your brush strokes to go in a nice smooth direction and I'm using a gold Taclon brush that's a wide, about one inch wide, and it's a flat brush. And that'll give you some really smooth brush strokes. A lot of people like to use a foam paintbrush or some people call it a disposable paintbrush, and that's totally cool too. I do use those a lot, but I do tend to use these because these wash up better for me and I'm doing this all the time. So as much as I can wash and reuse, I do like that. So you just keep top coating like that. 
and you'll go all the way around it and now you have a really cool home decor base or planter i should say now i'm going to be filling this with silk plants if you wanted to fill this with um, living plants or something that you're going to water you might want to think about using the dishwasher safe formula or the outdoor formula on the outside and use a um, liner on the inside some people do like to seal on the inside with um, special like plant sealers that's a that's a deep step for me <laughs> for my home decor so for me i'm using silks if i was using real i would put the uh, plastic planter inside of this that way i can change it out seasonally and things like that all right let's set this aside while that's drying and i want to move on to a, another fun napkin craft let's see i got a lot going on here guys lots to dry i'll move this out of the way you guys to be able to see everything. Uh, next, I want to show you just how do you create this really cool and simple seashell decor. And I'm going to be working with some sand on this also. So I found this seashell blank at the craft store and I wanted to add this gorgeous napkin. Right now, I, well, napkins are always seasonal. So check all your stores. Even the dollar store has great napkins right now. So I just went ahead and tore my napkin large enough to fit the top. And because this wood is so light colored, I'm not even worrying about priming it with the folk art chalk. And I'm just gonna add my Mod Podge directly on top of the wood seashell. And these little home decor items like this, they come in tons of different shapes. You know, around the holidays, you'll find them in Christmas tree shapes and and stars and things like that. And you could do seasonal napkins on them. I've seen these with letters, all sorts of things. So, you know, this is also a really good dollar store makeover thing. So if you see something at the dollar store like this on a stand and you think, ooh, that's not my style, give it a little prime and then you can just go right over it. Okay, I've got one coat down. Now let's go ahead and mist our napkin a little bit. I love this cobalt napkin. It's got such deep color. Go ahead and lay that right on top. And when I'm working on flat projects like this, I like to start in the center. I'm barely touching, guys, and I'm just going to smooth it from the center out. Just kind of patting as I go. And see, I've got a little wrinkle there. Just kind of tap it down and it disappears. Okay, so there is that. Now at this point, we can go ahead and let's add some Mod Podge around that edge. And I wanna show you how you fold that napkin over for those edges. So you just go in, I'm gonna use a lot. So I'm gonna kind of goop it up in there because we wanna catch all those ridges. Okay, go ahead and goop it in there. And here, this is gonna be important. I hope you guys can see that. Let's get it in there. All right. And then at this point, I wanna flap that there and I'm gonna take my scissors and go ahead and just cut a quick little seam right there. And that'll allow that to fold that way. This one will fold that way. Now I will need to piece that there. You'll just go in with a little scrap piece of your napkin. I can do it right now. I can just cut that little bit off and go in and just kind of piece it like that. So the napkins are super forgiving so you don't have to worry if you miss a little hole, just piece it. Okay, then once I have that starting to flap over, I take a fairly damp brush and you just go in and let those bristles do all the work for you. Okay, just like so. And then you can do the same thing, add a little bit to the back, wrap it around just like we did on the inside of the clay pot. And on something like this, I would probably glue a decorative piece of paper or something to the back. You could put a little felt piece there too. And now what I wanna show you is how I got our sand base, okay? So what you would do for this, sorry, I'm jumping around guys because I've got so many things I wanna show you and I know I have a valuable short amount of time with you today. So you would go ahead and finish this out. And now what I wanted to do for the base oops, I'm falling all over, is I wanted to give it some sand on the bottom. So I have just some craft sand, and I've got it in one of these lasagna trays. Nice big old tray. And what you do 
gonna go ahead and tear some of my napkin off here so that you can get a better view, okay? Sorry, this is gonna be a half project because we've got it completed. Here is our completed project. So I'm just showing you a few of the mini steps along the way. So then for this, if you wanna sand your base of a project, it's very simple. You just go in, add your Mod Podge to the wood. Okay, just like that. And then I use a spoon or you can dunk it in, however you like. Spoon it up on there and tap off. And that gives you the first coat of sand. And you can do that once or twice, however, depending upon how much sand you want. So you can see here on this one, I did one coat of sand on the top and I did two coats of sand on the bottom because I just wanted a thicker look, but I also wanted to be able to show you guys the difference. You can barely tell the difference, but when you do two coats of the sand, you do get the thicker look. On this glass votive here, this is only one coat. Now I only did one coat here because I want that light to flicker through, but I'm gonna show you that base, uh, candle holder in one second. So for the rest of this um, seashell decor, I did use some paint. I used the treasure gold. <laughs> it's treasure gold, but this is the platinum silver color, okay? And um, I painted with a detail brush. I used the Mod Podge detail brushes. So these are the Mod Podge detail brushes, and I used the small little uh, flat brush to go around the edges, just painting there. And then I painted around the whole edge, going right on over the napkin. Then for my cute little silk flower, this is, I think I've done everything a time or two, but I said, you know what? What would happen if we Mod Podge some silk flowers? So I wanna show you what this looks like. I got some silk roses and I broke them apart so that I had the petals of the silk flower. So this started out as just a silk flower and then I created a sand detail. And to do that, it was super easy. So let's just go ahead and do it for you really quickly. So you can see that. This is really, all of these projects today are just some inspiration for you. So we're gonna add the Mod Podge right onto the silk leaves. So, you know, the, or petals, I should say. This, if you're doing a beachy wedding or something, I mean, any of these ideas can be used and incorporated together just to create a themed out look. Now we're gonna tap it right into the sand and then you'll just pick it up. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna add a little bit more right here. You can spoon a little bit more on, pick it up, kind of shake it off, and then you'll just set it aside onto your wax paper to dry. And I've got some here that have been drying, and they dry really sturdy. It's cool, they almost have like a plaster of Paris feel to them. So they're very sturdy. You could tie these onto napkins, you could glue them to picture frames, put them on gift bags, so I keep thinking about all these beach brides and I'm like, okay, this, these flowers could be very cool. For this project, I just hot glued it right to the center of our shell and I added a gem in the center. Now I was scouring all over the craft room because I really wanted a flat back pearl for the center. So in an ideal world, I would have put that on, but I'm in the middle of a move back home and I could not find my flat back pearls anywhere. So I went with this gold one, but you can mix it up and make it however you want. And that's what's so fun about these projects. Okay, let's talk about our candle holder. I've got two things I wanna show you about a candle holder. One is, look at this. Again, if you're doing some patio decor, outdoor decor, these were some napkins that had starfishes on them. And the same exact way that we put our napkin down onto our terracotta, I just put the napkin around a plain glass votive. And then for that lip there, all I did was I took that same little detail brush. Just gonna go ahead and show you. I just went and added Mod Podge right along the edge with the detail brush, and then I just tapped it right in to the sand. Oh, I'm tapping my candle right out, and then let it dry. And that is a really cute way just to kind of edge out your projects. Again, if you're doing a party or you're doing real home decor for your own home, and you just want that extra little tip on it, this is so fun, just using the sand. Now, if you want to do a complete sand candle, you can do these on big ones, little ones, you can do the whole candle or you could tape it off and just do part of the candle. All you're going to do, it's very simple. 
is apply your Mod Podge right onto the votive. Now this gets a little bit tricky. You've got to, you want to get that edge all the way edge to edge. So for the candles, I only did one coat of the sand because I wanted the light to really flicker through. I didn't want to have like a thick, thick coating. So there, then you'll just go into the sand, tap it around a couple of times. Take a look, see where if you have any holes, just kind of rub it in the sand like so. And then be careful, kind of get the bottom, make sure the bottom's good. And now all you need to do is set that aside and let it dry. Now a fun tip is this works with glitter too, but for today's beachy themes, I'm using sand. All these places though, you could use glitter as well. Okay, I've got one, do I have one last project to show you real fast? And this is, oh my goodness, so beautiful. I love all these great papers that are out right now. I couldn't resist. I love the brown of the tan and all of the blues going on. So as soon as I'm done here and everything's dried, I'm gonna take some gorgeous pictures. And I know you've seen those pictures because I've been putting them up throughout this video, but I wanted to create a look of something that you could put on a mantle or say a centerpiece, or again, if you're having a a uh, bride's party or something or a table at a wedding, just a couple of different things that could coordinate together. So these uh, containers like this can be used as bases or you can drop candles down in them. And if you choose a paper that has a light background, you're gonna get all that really pretty candlelight flickering through. All right, let's clean up for one quick second. I've got flowers everywhere and sand. You definitely don't want sand on this project. So these clear bases, I did buy this at the craft store, but I want to tell you I see these at the thrift store and yard sales all the time. So if you're doing something for an event and you want 20 of these, start early, keep looking around. You can mix and match sizes and heights, rounds, squares, all different together and they're so cool and such a quick, easy makeover. I've gone ahead and cut my paper to size. And it's that really pretty paper I was talking about. So I've cut it to size from top to bottom with a tiny bit of overlap. See that overlap there? So that's where our back seam is gonna be. So make sure when you're doing your work, you know where you want that back seam. And now the hardest part of this project is you wanna get enough Mod Podge down onto your paper and you wanna get all the edges sealed and you don't want it to dry out before you get it onto your glass. So let's go ahead and just add a little bit down and we will work quickly to move that around. Now with some papers, you may notice a little bit of bubbling um, when it's starting to dry. Please take my recommendation, don't mess with it. You're gonna wanna push the bubble, you're gonna want to pop it or move it or smooth a wrinkle. Just let it dry. And most of the times with these handmade papers like this, the bubbles will flatten out as it dries and they will be completely gone once it's dry. If you mess with it, it won't. It will create a crease or it will create a bigger bubble or um, a deeper wrinkle. So just set it aside and really let it, it's hard. I know it's hard. I, I always wanna mess with the, the bubble if I see it. But with these handmade papers, and I've been working with these types of papers for probably over 15 years now, and that's my experiences. Set it aside, let it dry. All right, we've gone edge to edge, very, very important. Let's pick up. This is my trick of the day. You just go ahead and put your hand right in there. Place that down. Because it's glass, you do have a little bit of time for movement. So you can move it into position. And we're going to smooth from the top to the bottom. Go ahead and get that first edge down. And kind of pull tightly as you go. Go ahead and get that down. Keep pulling. Okay. Okay, I can already see a little bit of air in there. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but this is what I'm telling you. I'm not pushing it down. I'm still just gently kind of making sure my paper's in the right spot. 
And now I'm gonna sit this aside and let it dry for overnight. And when I wake up in the morning, <laughs> all any kind of wrinkle or air bubble, now this is specifically working with handmade papers, will be gone. It is, it is so, like you wanna poke at them and don't do it. So here we go. I wanna show you I added this trim to the bottom here just because I wanted to finish it off so that when you're creating a collection, everything has a little bit of something fun going on. Now, if you didn't have trim or you didn't want to invest in trim and you wanted to keep up with that sand theme, you could do an organic brush stroke of Mod Podge and dip it in sand for the bottom. It's really endless. The cool thing is this, for all of these projects, it's just some scrapbook paper, some sand, and some napkins, and you can create all of this really fun home decor. So I hope all of these ideas have inspired you on things that you can make over for your home for spring and summer, and if these colors aren't your style, go grab some napkins that are your style and create some fun stuff for your space. Thanks you guys for joining me today. We'll see you next week with another Make It With Mod Podge. Be sure to tag Plaid Crafts and use the hashtag Mod Podge and follow us on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. We'll see you later. Bye.